Uh, and ready to rock in three, two, one. We are fight. Here we go. Yeah, sure on board bunker. with the Nexus side on the Allies. Generator. Squall will uh, the lead the way, and he walks right into Hummel's Panther Faust. There we go. Ross is going to make his way through. And, uh, he will uh, have that frag uh, stolen off his toes there. As, uh, he has another play down for that right. Who are trying to get he and Squid make their way through the set main courtyard. And uh, it's uh, Joker who's got a bit of a, a weak ping. Uh, for uh, for this one, so he was seven one hundred and fifty eight. Still on a one hundred and fifty. Um, the uh, disconnect side were were joking before the match. They lost. There's only one reason why. And it's poor disconnect's pick. Dynamite about to go down on that forward bunker by Xylos, and Xylos has enough time to part the dynamite and turn around and kill the man that uh, that was coming in from the back. As whilst uh, Squall watched on. Hummel looking to find himself a frag. Uh, Pato does get himself one. It's Rossity down. But then has a, a rifle to tie his shoelace uh, at the bottom. Squiz and Silas both pick themselves up frags. And uh, it will be um, disconnect to uh, make their way through. There is a Covert Ops charging through the middle. It was Knight. But Knight is down and Jagger has been picked off by uh, the Dynamite in fact. And uh, a little revive coming in from Mouse. He does... Uh, know how to use that syringe as well as he knows how to use that uh, Thompson as uh, the Belgian will lead the way into the bottom of a, the well which uh, I think uh, Mouse is still, uh, still learning this map just a touch Missile is in the uh, clan base map pool but uh, I think still quite a few people this shoutcaster included um, need to uh, need to familiarize themselves somewhat with it to uh, try and get it. Uh, okay, we're going to try and uh, drop our ET game sounds a little bit. I thought they were a bit loud as well. So we'll drop those down to that. Uh, there we go. Uh, and we'll uh, push on here with uh, Squiz to lead the charge forward. It'll be uh, Command Post down and Command Post built now from Silas. Here's uh, Squiz at the bottom end of that uh, well that Mel's was looking up just moments ago. And now the objective is picked up by the uh, power gate supply. And uh, now let's see who's got it. Let's uh, find the man with it. It's Squall who has it. He has Ross leading the way. And they need to get those parts nassled in to uh, complete this map. It'll be Squiz to pick himself up the Thompson on to Kev. Preddy does return fire though. Mouse is down. And uh, Squall looks on with those do uh, documents. And he is eventually taken down. And it's Timo that came from behind. Claimed himself two frags and uh, claimed himself those parts back uh, for his trouble. Good work. Um, and uh, it was a marvelous uh, uh, recovery from Disconnect, who are going to have to uh, operate a little bit stronger going forward as they lost their opening stages very, very quickly. Zylos with that rifle now will lead the charge forward as he peers down the back. He can uh, see Kev going for uh, the frag, but uh, uses his rifle shot. And now let's see whether uh, you can get through. Objective is secure, but uh, only to be recollected. There's a rifle coming in here. Doesn't actually land onto anyone that time. Who's got these objectives? It is uh, Squall, uh, sorry, Squiz, who gets himself one frag there onto Timo, the uh, objective recoverer of last time out. Mouse looks across to the back. There's uh, nothing doing there for him. And Preddy and Kev are uh, ready to go. Objective is picked up once more. I'm struggling to find that man uh, with the objective. It's Squall that's got it. And uh, let's find Squall. Here we go. Waiting on uh, Mouse, who skips away from him. Knight's artillery does the job. Dynamo uh, sorry, Grenade is pinged out, and Squall has uh, given his position away. But he has, in, in Mouse and Squiz, possibly the uh, finest escort one could ask for. He's got Ross covering from the bottom left. Silas with the double rifle nade. And those objectives are secured. And uh, the gate controls are open for an Nexus to push on here. And the door is open for them now. Knight and Squall charge through with uh, cover from Xylos. There's no, uh, no medic with that engineer and uh, field ups, actually. And uh, here we go. It's going to be self-killed by those two of themselves. And on that top stage, the uh, disconnect side are on the prowl. Joke picks himself up an MP40 frag as Kev collects a rifle. Uh, and uh, Kev is waiting. There's uh, nothing there for him. Squall goes down. There's Joke getting picked off by the Luger of uh, Ross. But uh, he will eventually self-kill out the last man that Ross was chasing. Following Ross as uh, an engineer once more. We've got 10 minutes and uh, 6, 5, 4, 
three, and uh, here we go. It'll be Ross to make the make his way out towards the middle, right by the missile. Mouse is going to have to help him out, but combination of FFE and MP40 clear out Mouse, and uh, still Timo will shoot over towards the uh, the other side of that missile and try to hold on as this uh, entrenchment is manned by those Axis forces. And uh, there it is. Tings from Preddy as he gets two frags. Can he help himself to frag number three? Not today, but uh, he will uh, support Hummel, who's uh, also laying down support fire. And uh, Kev will make their way through uh, up the tunnel and uh, has laid two landmines. Just saw, I think that was the back of Ross. Chases down a frag onto Squall, and Ross is going to dart through. Ross then, uh, well, sorry, Xylos now will get, will get himself the Grand Frag, and Hummel is going to be picked off. Squiz now charges down that hill. It'll be Knight to try and make their way out over the middle. I think Connexus are running with three engineers at the moment, Ross, Knight, and Xylos. And uh, Squall, uh, well, it seems to be the problem here is that uh, Nexus have rarely got an engineer when they need one. Knight is right on the uh, is right on the missile there, but uh, was picked off by that FFE. Xylos is around the other side of it. He too is down. And the medics aren't offering those engineers much support at all. And that is the biggest problem that the Nexus side have in completing this uh, objective. It'll be Ross to go through. He looks to uh, build the uh, platform. With the help of Knight, he does. And the objective picked up only momentarily, though. And uh, has been, the rocket control has been secured once again as that allied side will push down. It is uh, Mouse and uh, Squiz to lead the push. Now Timo with an MP40 will uh, make his way through. Ross and Mouse are uh, waiting for it as they uh, lead the charge. Ross now has the medic, will collect that objective, but only to be picked off by Jago's MP40. Few shots going back over towards that trench, and it's Xylos with the double rifle there. Jago and Timo both down. Xylos picked off by Preddy in the end, but uh, now may be the opportunity for Nexus to run over the middle. They almost collect that objective this time. Joke and Kev are uh, ready to go, and uh, Mouse is going to uh, be picked off, and the disconnect side will hold on to this rocket once again. 7.43 on the clock, and the Nexus must be starting to get a little concerned uh, about the objective. And uh, it'll be uh, um, Knight and Squiz to go through as uh, Knight makes his way across. Kev is there as well. And uh, Squall will push through, collect that objective now. He's got two Axis guns fires coming from the truck where he needs to make his way towards. Ross with the Thompson frag down to him. Here goes Squiz, and there's the time. 7.48 set. And uh, that is going to be a, a time to beat for the German side of Disconnect, who did very well on the defense, out damaged and outgunned and outfragged their opponents. Mouse with a, a round to forget at just five frags, bringing up the rear. And uh, 